All right, what's up guys, Sanchi here, and welcome back to another video, uh, a double upload for you guys today, uh, because I'll be gone for the next two days, but in today's second video, we're going to be going over the pre-judging routines for what I think is going to be the top five at this year's 2020 Europa Pro. So if you guys are interested, make sure you guys stay tuned. All right, guys, so we're going to start off with the first competitor that I think is going to be in this top five, and that's going to be Rafael Brandeo. So we have a uh, quite a few pictures of him uh, I was able to capture uh, while watching the uh, Europa Pro. And let's start from left to right. Um, his front double bicep is absolutely amazing, uh, something that Rafael Brandeo has continued to bring since his second place finish at uh, the um, Arnold Brazil last year was uh, amazing conditioning, striations, uh, good vascularity, and a very, very controlled midsection. Uh, Rafael Brandeo is by far one of my favorite competitors in the open circuit or any circuit of bodybuilding, uh, professional bodybuilding in 2020 right now. Uh, I definitely can see him, uh, I think, and I'm going to go on a ledge, I think it's going to go down between Rafael Brandeo and Samson Dauda for the first and second place. Uh, and you guys are going to see exactly why as we transition to uh, the next shots. Uh, we also have one uh, back double bicep here of Rafael, uh, pretty similar to what we've seen before and next we have regan grimes uh i'm not a hater of regan grimes i know some of you guys think i don't like the guy uh he is a very impressive bodybuilder uh very impressive on instagram and on the stage as a pro the thing is he just doesn't bring a very certain and specific level of conditioning for him to win shows now he does bring conditioning he is conditioned i'm not insane uh, to look at him and say that he is not in condition, that he does not have conditioning. He does. The thing is, he doesn't have conditioning at a certain caliber that's going to give him that win. Uh, he does have the size. So if there's no competitors that are his size and they don't have conditioning, uh, he's going to win shows. Unfortunately, um, he's going to be competing against a lot of competitors that are big and have conditionings or vice versa. Uh, and it's just not, um, it's not in the cards for Regan Grimes to win this show. Uh, I have him in fourth place. Next, we have Samson Dota or Samson Dauda, uh, UK bodybuilder, fresh off his second place, controversial placing at the Korea Pro. And uh, honestly, I can see him winning or even getting second place here. Uh, I think he has some of the best conditioning. Uh, on the stage at this year's Europa Pro in Spain, and I also think he has one of the best vacuums on stage this year. I think he's brought exactly what he needs to bring uh, in terms of conditioning and size. I think he has everything in his tool bag to pull off this win. Uh, next guy we have up is uh, what, Mark Hector. Yeah, Mark Hector, M-A-R-C Hector. Uh, this guy is amazing. Uh, I know I heard him, uh, who is it, uh, Samson, no, no, no. I know um, uh, Fuad Abiyad was talking about him on his podcast. And uh, going through the uh, the lead up for this show, I did mention that he is going to be a, a newcomer, uh, fairly new to the pro circuit, and uh, he might not have the size to compete with the big boys. I think that uh, for Hector here, or for Mark, uh, for Mark, he's really lucky because I don't think a lot of the big boys brought the conditioning that they needed uh, to get that nod from the judges, and um, Mark brought the conditioning that he would need to uh, beat out the size game. So he truly embodies the phrase, uh, class over mass. So I have Mark in third. Oh, Okay, so I messed up my placings a little bit. Uh, I have Raphael in first. I have Samson in second. I have uh, Mark in third. I have Regan in fifth. And that leaves, of course, James Hollings Hollingshed uh, in fourth. So I like James. Uh, I was a huge fan of his until I put away my personal uh, opinions of him and started looking at him. Uh, overall in like a holistic view. 
Uh, I still think he's an amazing bodybuilder. I think he brought amazing uh, shape and fullness to the show. Uh, the thing is, when I look at his back double bicep, uh, his hamstrings are very watery. His glutes are watery. His lower back is watery. Um, and to be fair, this is the pre-judging, so he can still uh, he can still bring up uh, these lagging parts. He can fix the conditioning with diuretics and whatnot. Uh, he still has an opportunity to run away with this win. Um, absolutely uh, huge news that we knew that uh, uh, Big Rami was not competing. So uh, a lot of these guys have a good chance of uh, nailing one of the top three spots uh, to qualify for this year's 2020 Mr. Olympia in Las Vegas uh, in December, which I will be at. Uh, so there's still chances. Uh, there's still time for these guys to fix uh, their deficiencies that they have. Uh, either it be conditioning or posing or whatnot. Uh, I'm very excited to see how the rest of the show goes. Um, I'm going to be traveling for the next few hours, so I, I wanted to get this video out for you guys real quick, uh, and then I'm going to hit the road. So I hope you guys enjoy watching the rest of the NPC um, Europa Pro here, the Spain Pro. I hope you guys enjoy the Open and the 212. Definitely check out the 212 class. I think um, a lot of people are not talking about uh, the 212 and uh, people like Angel and Vlad and um, who's the other big guy, um, the Oli. Those guys are going to be absolutely fantastic and uh, they're going to have a good show for you guys if you guys want to watch uh, the 212. But, um, but that's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed um, me being able to put out this content as fast as I can. I uh, hope you guys enjoy watching the rest of the show. And if you guys enjoy bodybuilding news in general, uh, definitely consider subscribing. We have lots more content to come in the future. And, of course, if you guys want to support me on a personal level, you guys can always go to goldenerranutrition.com and you can use my sponsored athlete code SANCH15 at checkout. And that is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.